where it continues everywhere inside the old Cleveland Athletic Club. And after sitting empty for years, there was a lot of work to do. This was a little scary when we first walked in. Tony DiGeronimo of Precision Environmental is overseeing demolition and construction. We've been in a lot of these buildings, but this was about the worst that uh, we've seen in town. Empty for roughly a decade, water damage had destroyed much of the interior down through the many floors. Ned Weingart was involved in a few attempts to get the project started. Financing after the economic collapse, he says, was a major factor. After partnering with Great Lakes Financial and Precision, he said, everything came together. Because of that, we're close to uh, achieving a product that we we think it's going to be a, a, a really nice project. The building will be known as the Athlon and will include 163 units, one to two bedrooms in size that will mainly go for between 1500 and 2500 a month. Several units will be multi-storied. Stark Preservation is a key part of the project that will include a lot of amenities. It starts at the top with the rooftop deck and as we continue down through the building. On 13 is where the walking track is that overlooks the pool that we're so excited about that has such an historic stamp on the town. Then as you get to 12, our fitness center is there. And then as we continue down on the eighth floor, we have three parlor rooms that are available for residents to rent out or just use at community level. And then um, the seventh floor is really our historic ballroom uh, that's just gonna be brought back to its beautiful luster. The first units will be rented this October with the entire project slated for completion in March of next year. In Cleveland, John Kosick, News 5.